Hey folks, welcome to Transap and welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we will learn about few uh, momentum based indicators and few momentum based data analytics and strategies and how you can go ahead and play momentum in a better way. So uh, let's start this video by understanding, you know, the first uh, momentum based indicator, which I typically use if I want to find out a script, which is in momentum. Okay. So I'll explain you the concept first and then I'll later on explain you how exactly we go ahead and achieve that. Okay. So uh, let's say there is a stock. Okay. Let's say there is a stock which was trading like this. Okay. Nothing was happening in that stock. Okay. And out of nowhere, that stock is now started to trade like this. Okay. So this was the first uh, regime of the stock. It gave a breakout, then this is the next regime of the stock and this is what it is giving a breakout. Now, let's say if this stock, okay, on this day, whenever I'm looking at this stock, let's say it is at its 250 days high, okay, a one year high is what the stock is trading at. Now, what does that indicate? That indicates one thing that there is a strong price action happening in this stock. There is something happening with that stock, right? That is the reason it is trading at its one year high. So I want to tackle, first of all, all such stocks which are having a strong price action momentum where the momentum on the price front is strong. How will I come to know? I will come to know that, okay, it is trading at 250 days high, right? If it is trading at its one year high. It, it, a stock can't trade always at a one year high, right? Only when there is something positive or whenever there is a momentum, only then the stock will trade at a one year high, right? So the first thing what I want is the stock which is trading around its one one year high or 250 days high for th this definition might change or this filtration might change for person to person but typically one year high is something let's say we are trying to achieve so second thing i just am not i am being a derivative trader right so i am not only convinced when the price is moving up right if if the price is moving up but people are not participating that means they are not confident that this might sustain okay but if I tell you that, okay, the price is moving up, but the people are participating, right? There is a lot of OI which is getting added. What does that indicate? That indicates they are expecting and continuation of this trend to happen, right? They are expecting that this trend is durable and it might continue for a long run in the market. And that is what I need to find. So two things what I need to find. First is the stock which has a price action, okay? Only then I'm interested to trade that stock. One of the indicators would be that that stock is trading at 250 days high. First indicator. Second indicator or second not indicator but second uh, data point I want is that in this rising prices, okay, the rising prices, they should be backed up, okay, by the open interest strategy. Matlab, jo bhao bad hai, I want people to participate in that uh, rising prices. Because only that will tell me that, okay, the, the move in the price, it might be sustainable. So how I do it? Because there are so many stocks, I can't go ahead and keep on uh, scanning the stocks one by one. So for that, we will use this tool, which is price Y percentile. Okay. What does it tell? It tells us that where the current price is trading of that stock. Okay. So it is comparing that individual stocks, historical prices. And it is showing us that where the current price is trading compared with its historical prices. So over here, we have used the concept of percentile. So for those who don't know percentile, what percentile tells you is how much percentage of the times historically the stock's prices, okay? The stock's prices traded below the current level. How much percentage of the times historically the stock's prices traded below the current level, okay? So less the percentile, okay? Less for the number of days, the stock's prices traded below the current price, which tells us that the stock's prices are at the bottom. Higher the percentile, that tells you majority of the times in the past, the stock's prices traded below the current price. That is the reason percentile is higher. So if someone wants to understand percentile very, very simply, it is the number of data points which traded below the current price enlarged uh, you know whatever whatever your desired look back is okay it is as simple as it gets and one more trick is more higher the percentile more spiked up the prices less the percentile less spiked up the price or the 
the component that you have selected is okay so right now by default it is at 180 days data okay you can alter it as i said but let's say 180 as of now so i am sorting it as per price so now the tool is identifying all those stocks which are at 99th percentile of its price right so these prices of ofo del tfc hdfc bank persistence it is at the 180 days high okay so inka jo price hai the price of all these stocks wherever you see 99.44 all these stocks are trading at 180 days high okay what told you that percentile number told you that okay so if i just click on percentile okay so you will get to see price percentile which tells us so now let's say kofo it is showing us that okay not even once the prices were trading above the current price so rest times automatically the data set would be below the current market price historically so more spiked up the percentile more higher the price is 99 percentile indicates that not even once the prices were trading above the current market price of cofors that means the cofors price is trading at 180 days high so i got my first thing what i wanted to find when i am trading momentum the price so cofors has a price momentum but all, along with that what i wanted is why participation to happen also so why percentile again the same thing where the current y participation is compared to its historical y participation is what it is showing us so in last 180 days cofors never witnessed such huge quantum of y participation right so cofors is one of the pick for you know for if i want to capitalize on momentum trading right but something like indigo where in not a lot of people are participating is not where my interest is something like indalco is not where our interest is right especially in the uh, indigo if you see the y percentile is very very less that tells you that oh, people are not participating in this but cofor hdfc hdfc bank persistent all these are the stocks where you know a lot of participation is happening so the first indicator is you can use price y percentile to scan which are the stocks which are in momentum okay apart from that you can check out uh, historical build up which is our second indicator you can also call it because i will show you one or two more uh, insights on this so let's say whatever you get in price y percentile okay you can combine it with the historical build ups that okay is the stock witnessing a lot of uh, long and long unwindings um, in recent days if the answer comes out yes then okay that might be one stock would would, would turn out what would turn out to be lucrative something like persistency a lot of longs getting accumulated recently then other than that cofor is that see a lot of longs getting accumulated in cofor so any dip in cofor you know one of the uh, you know we can try to sharpen this entries by by uh, you know checking out a dip in cofor so uh, apart from that we had um, hdfc see again a lot of longs getting accumulated in hdfc right then we had hdfc bank so what i want is something like this that okay the price is giving an up move but also the oi is getting participated the oi is getting added that means they are expecting that this price might sustain high okay so the first indicator was price oi percentile the combination of price and oi where the price is also at the highest and the oi is also at the highest second comes built up wherein we can use uh, historical built ups the recent 6 to 7 day 7 built ups okay 6 to 7 historical built ups is what we will observe to see what the trend is going if it was a very a lot of shots we could have avoided hdfc bank okay so first thing is price y percentile second thing is historical built ups i will show you how you can uh, scan the stocks based on historical built ups okay so look back period let's say i want to consider the data only of last 10 days out of which i want to find out all those stocks which are having a long or long unwinding at least for 7 days okay That's something what i want to find okay, so i click on this let's say 10 okay long or long unwinding 40 okay so you can filter out the stocks so see i got oh sorry so 7 i'm sorry yeah so if you see all these stocks they typically have a long or long unwinding cycle if you just check out britannia it never witnessed a short build up so you can find out all such stocks which are in a heavy momentum using the historical built ups as well so if you just check out uh, something like godre cp if you just check out itc icici bank they have hardly any short built ups right so icici bank is one of the scripts but the price is not giving an conviction but uh, hcl tech okay so just check out hcl tech the price is consistently you know showing positive ticks 
and a lot of long so basically in price oi percentage that indicator was to scan the stocks historical built up can be used along with that to confirm or validate the trend you can use cycle as well to identify which stocks have gained the momentum recently and where the momentum has started so two indicators first one is price oi percentage the combination of the price and oi along with where the price is at the highest and also the oi is at the highest that will tell us that okay there is some action going around in which stock okay so you can in price oi percentage i one thing i forgot is you can start trading those stocks with a very smaller stop losses and bigger targets right because typically you will see when the stock is at its high you will see a base getting matlab um, the support would be the days low itself right or maybe the previous days low so you can start identifying such moves and wherein the stop losses would be smaller but the targets would be broader so that is the beauty of price oi percentage okay so now coming to the last part you can also use to identify momentum the trap indicator so trap indicator as you all might be knowing it it helps us in identifying all those stocks wherein the option writers are getting trapped and uh, where there could be a move so call writer trap out here indicates that there might be an up move and put writer trap indicate that there might be a down move okay so now in tech mahindra there might be a call trap which is getting generated so the signal date is also mentioned everything is mentioned all these are open signals so if you see hdfc amc call uh, trap indicator generated a uh, put writer trap on it on 13th of uh, january the signal is still open on 13th of jan the signal price the end of the day price on 13th of jan was 2156 right now the price is 19 uh 179 so that is roughly 8 percentage gain that you got on the single single signal right does that does it mean that it will not make losses it will make a loss but if you just see the losses are marginal but whenever you make a profit you make a big jump right so all these are open signals but you should typically focus on the signals that have arrived today and yesterday check the signals analyze them end of the day and if the signal exists in the trap indicator next day at 920 that is the time to you know capitalize on the move strategy would be something like or for all these three uh, indicators that we learn strategy typically would be a bull call spread or a bear put spread bull call spread for a positive trade and bear put spread for a negative trade so let me just summarize but before i summarize i would like to invite all of you to option symposium 5.0 which is going to take place at bombay stock exchange where in 10 plus veterans will be sharing their actionable strategies and also there would be a panel discussions among uh, the veteran traders and apart from that you can also network and learn from the traders by communicating with them with our distinguished option expert who again carry rich experience along with them so do attend option symposium at bombay stock exchange so to summarize first we learn about uh, uh, price oi percentage then we learned about trap indicator or oh, sorry we then we learned about historical build ups and then we learned about trap indicator so the idea is very simple that do something when you are trading momentum try to catch a stock where there is something happening they right? don't try to go ahead and catch a dead stock because the momentum is not it does not exist there, right yes folks that was it from my side thank you so much for joining me in this video bye bye take care and happy trading